Welcome back. The weekend garden segment for October. Unfortunately, starting off with some bad news. We told you in the spring about a potential bug invasion to our state. And unfortunately, now it is here. State ag officials in Illinois report our first confirmed spotting of the spotted lanternfly in our state just last month. The pest, which originates from East Asia, first spotted in Pennsylvania several years ago and can wreak havoc on fruit trees and grapevines. While you're asked to smash these invaders if you see them, this time of the year, you'd be looking for some unusual things on your trees in your yard. Take a look, though, things to look for this time of year, the masses of eggs that adults leave behind in the fall. They can come in several varieties, partially covered, totally covered, a more weathered covering, and then not covered at all. You can scrape it off into a bag, even use just a kitchen spatula to do it, and you want to spray the area with rubbing alcohol and then throwing away the egg mass as well as that plastic bag in the trash to keep them from hatching in late March or early April. June writes in that she's got a hibiscus plant in the backyard and wants to know what to do to keep it over the winter. Well, they winter quite well, just not outside with our cold winters. It's easiest if it's in a pot, you just move it to the indoors. If not, you want to dig up as much of that root ball as possible, bring it inside, and cutting it back is apparently among the best practices for overwintering. You want to make sure to water it over the winter, keep it in a locale that doesn't get too much below 50 degrees, watch out for areas near heating vents as that might dry out this tropical beauty way too much. Speaking of beauty, the plant might get a little ugly for a little bit in the darkest months of the year, dropping lots and lots of leaves, but that's just what happens when it goes into full dormancy. Now in spring, you want to harden it off, meaning exposing it to more light and more time outdoors gradually over the course of a few weeks. When those overnight lows are safely above 55 to 60 degrees, you can probably let it live outside then all the time. Right now is the time on the calendar to make for a spectacular and colorful spring in your yard and garden. University of Illinois Extension Office says October is the time of year to get those bulbs in the ground for plants like daffodils, tulips, crocus, and hyacinths. And this year you could even get that into early parts of November as well. Now bulbs require a chilling period in order to grow and flower. If you've planted them too early, the agency says you can risk an issue with something called fusarium bulb rot, which results in yellow foliage, poor root systems, bulb decay, and death. If you plant them too late, like three weeks from now, you risk the roots not growing sufficiently to make it through the harsh winter. When planting bulbs, bury them about two to three times deeper than the length of the bulb. I always think it is a worthwhile effort now for the beautiful flowers that will brighten your garden beds in late winter and early spring, and many bulbs will return for several seasons once they're planted. If you've got any gardening questions, feel free to email me here at the station, tjoyce at wgntv.com. Be sure to tell me where you live, and pictures of your problem plants can also be a big help, too. Coming up next, we've got your top stories and another look at the forecast.